My man. Billy, I just don't see how we have a choice, man. I have a choice. I'm free. I'm not a slave. I have a choice. Jim, I love you, man, but since you've hit middle age, you really lost something. Yeah, and since you've fucking been strung out on this shit, you've lost something. You fucking mind. Easy, Jim. Look who the fuck you're speaking to, huh? Hey. What's up? I'm just trying to explain to our friend here that possession is nine-tenths of the law. We should make the slopes pay us back. Billy, I got Chad on the phone. Pay us back for what? Look, we have a business opportunity here, Johnny. I think a guy like you should be pleased. Yeah, but Jim says there's some problem. There is. That H we stole. It belonged to the Chinese. The deadbeats told them we got it and they want it back. So? Fuck them. Finally! Billy, Chad's on the phone about the meeting. Look, normally I'd be down for that, but these aren't the type of dudes you just say fuck them to. There's some heavily armed, pissed off motherfuckers who killed a couple of angels when they found out this shit was gone. Now I'm thinking maybe we could strike up a deal with them. Okay. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just suck him off while you're at it? <laughs> and tell Chad I'm sober as can be over here! That's what I Look, told him! Look, I just think that given this war we're back into with the Angels of Death, and given the fact that one or possibly two government agencies are looking into our shit, that offloading the heroin would be a good idea, all right? And looking for a fight is the wrong thing to do right now, given the fact that we can't even stop fighting amongst ourselves! Yeah, you're right. We should probably all get in a circle, hold hands, pray, sing kumbaya. Kumbaya! <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> this ain't no joking matter, Billy. We'll either end up dead in the ground or back in the lockup with you. I ain't going back there. I'd rather be dead. Damn straight. Well, you don't have to do either, man. I just think that getting rid of that stuff now is the right thing to do. Okay. I beat you, but you're still the fucking man in my book. Let's have some fun, bitches! At least anyone that you have on the ground and put your hands on your head. 
All right, Jim, Johnny, since you two were both so vocal in your support of this deal, you two are going to be the ones to hand over the brown to the slopes. What? What are you and your boy here going to be doing? We are going to watch your backs, because unlike this fat man here, I just don't trust those little yellow bastards. Good luck. Hey, they don't need luck. We're looking out for them. <laughs> this better be cool, man. So, Johnny, this is, uh... Mm. Okay. We gonna be cool and do this thing? So let me get this straight. You are here to sell us back our heroin. The heroin my cousin sweated over in order to bring to this country only to have it stolen. Look, man, we can do business or go to war. It's your call. In this country, they seem to be the same thing, you stupid pieces of shit! Fuck you! Shit's fucked. Billy's been taken down. Where are you? Bill? Yeah, he's fucked out. Thanks to you. I'm around the corner. We're coming. Wait there. Man, let's just get back to the bikes. Suspect William Gray What's all that about? In Chinatown. I don't know, man. Billy sounded pissed. Back down. Why'd he bring me into it? We got more important things to think about. Without Billy, we got no leader. You're gonna have to take charge of the chapter, man. It's like being made captain of a sinking ship. What am I gonna do? You're gonna stick by your... Clemens, man, what the fuck? What happened back there? Get your cock out of your head and get a move on! Billy! What do you mean? Johnny and I were getting jumped. Why weren't you 
you help him, Billy? I have to help myself, man. I mean, I, I can't be expected to... Billy doesn't have any beef. He's not trucking any bad shit with me. Jesus, that was heavy, man. Fuck it. What was Billy's fucking problem? <laughs> Nothing wrong with him, buddy. You two want us to end up all dead? Man, Billy was right about you. I knew you were a rat. Now he's gone, man. He ain't gone, Brian. He's gone to prison. He's not dead. You ratted him out. You ratted him out. No, I didn't. He nearly got me fucking killed. You set us up. You always wanted to be the one, the man. You're a gimp, John. You're giving a fucking Judas. What the fuck are you talking about, you ass-kissing little weasel? Hey, Brian! Johnny's not like that, man. Jim, you're wrong, man. I know you're a good guy, but this two prick, he fucked us over, man. He set us up and he called the cops. And you know why? Because they're putting heat on him. They saw him and they've been calling him. I know, because they did the same to me. And they told me you ratted us out. You keep talking like that, you are dead, my little friend. Ah, fuck you, man. What? You sent Billy to jail, huh? Show us your phone. Prove you ain't been speaking to the law. I don't prove shit to you, and I didn't talk to no one. Fuck it. Come on! You stay away from us, you hear? Jim, I guess I gotta take over as chapter president now. When people hear about Billy going down, there's gonna be more pressure on us than ever. We gotta get through it. Brothers for life, man. Lost forever. I'll see you soon. up for a time. They might give you two a conjugal visit trailer if you ask the screws nice. Fuck you, Johnny. Why are you being like that? I just like Billy, that's all. You like a lot of people, Ash. Yeah, but I only love you. Stop saying that. It's meaningless. You don't even know what the words mean. Goodbye, Ashley. This is Terry. Leave a message and I'll call you back. Hey, Johnny. Did you hear? I heard. How you feel about the chapter presidency? I wish it didn't have to be this way, but we don't got much choice. Is that crown feeling heavy, is it? For what it's worth, I'd follow you, man. I'm sure the other brothers will, too. Those that are worth having behind you, at least. Those that ain't gonna stab me in the back. 
You gonna go see Billy? I don't think I can after what he said. He wouldn't want me there either. Adios, Johnny boy. Captain President. Clement? Clement, you there? I'm here. What can I do you for, Congressman? Oh, listen, Clement. The taxpayer is picking up the bill for this call, so I'm going to make it brief. The amount of help I need from a man with your skills has tripled in volume, and that's a conservative estimate. If you're interested in helping me out with this, you can call me, and I'll tell you what I need. The pay will be more than adequate. Once you go down the dark path, it just keeps going, don't it, Stubbs? I'll call if I feel the need to keep you in the lifestyle to which you're accustomed. Just an American. I like an American bike. Yeah, I understand. You older, Grandpa, so you like a more sedate ride. Some older, mature <laughs> shit. <laughs> give me that. I give you mature <laughs> shit, Malk. <laughs> <Yeah>. Hey. <laughs> Ew, who that? Malk. Deshaun. Johnny. Brother of mine. All right. Hey. What's up? Malk's got us a connection, Johnny. I'm good, man. I don't need one of them hair dryers. Oh, oh yeah? You sure now? No, no. <laughs> Some serious hardware. Mouk's got us a connection that ain't got nothing to do with bikes. Oh, yeah? Yeah, explosives. That's right. Okay. With this, we could take the Angels of Death out of business for a long, long time. Oh, you think? With that, it looks like we could take the whole fucking town out of business. Motherfucking <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you down? Oh, man, you gotta ask a question like that? Looks like you're going senile or something, man. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yo, you fools have fun, but remember this. You get in any trouble, you ain't meet me. Malk, I don't know where you got that shit, man, but one thing's for sure, we will have fun. All right, play nice. Peace, son. Later, him out. Hey. Later. My man, those deadbeats ain't a problem, and you introduced me to your new friends. Yeah, Malcolm and Deshaun are good guys. No bullshit, apart from the hair dryers they ride. Seriously, man, you should start using the brothers more now that you're in charge. Give Terry or Clay a call if you ever need some help on club business. 
Might even do them some good to get off their asses later on. Dave Grossman. I'm a friend of Billy's. We met at the clubhouse. Friend of Billy's, huh? Well, good luck with that. Well, hey, I haven't seen him for a long time. But hey, hold on, man. I need a favor. What? What am I, the Midlife Crisis Association? Oh, look, I am desperate, man. Take my watch, take my fleece, take anything, man. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking desperate. I'm dying here. Why is that? I'm being blackmailed by my secretary. She's saying I touched her. And I didn't do anything. She ruined my life. I didn't do anything. That's unlucky, man. Look, it'll break my daughter's heart. She's saying that I looked at her tits, and because I did that, I suppressed her. She is a fucking moron, but my wife is not a kind woman. She'll get one whiff of this. One whiff, and she'll rip my life to shreds. I'm a lawyer, and I'm getting ass-raped by the law! Can you imagine what that feels like? Mercifully not. Well, all I need for you is to intimidate her lawyer. Just make him get her to back down, man. So you want me to go put the fear of the Lord in a lawyer? And you're gonna pay me for it? Shit, Dave, why didn't you say so in the first place? Solid. The only good lawyer is a dead one. Uh, okay. Put the brakes on your case against Dave Grossman or you'll be one good fucking lawyer, dude. Okay. I know when I'm beat, okay? Chill out, will you? You know, Chico, hold up. Where do you think you're going, man? You gotta hold up Johnny, in here. I'm talking to you, all right? Back off of him, you stupid shit. Can't you tell the difference between an orc and one of my upstanding business associates? I'm sorry about Andreas here. It's impossible to find good help in this city. I'm supposed Don't to worry about it. You, hey, okay? yo. What up, Johnny boy? Job. What up? Talk to your girl. Let's make it happen, Captain. I didn't think you lost bikers got down with peoples like Mark here. Then with their sports bike, you with your choppers. <laughs> and looking at the two of you, it don't make no sense to me. It's a crazy city. Well, this is crazy times, Liz. And there's a recession going on. And in this troubling economic climate, you gotta make compromises. Mal here is my compromise. Hey, yo, fuck you, clown. <laughs> you can compromise these nuts. Shit. Give me some. These ain't the proper <laughs> dimes for us. Yeah. People are always gonna want what we got to sell. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna want even more products when they lose their jobs and ain't got nothing else. Okay, I guess all we gotta worry about is the cops taking us down there. True that, cat. Hey, yo, E, let them know what it is. You gotta take some thieving, snitching motherfuckers and show them I'm a bitch. But I ain't they fucking bitch, okay? They bribed the guard on the Eastboro Bridge to let them through without checking their loan, right? You guys is gonna go down there and tear them apart. Entiende? Right. There it is. Now get the fuck out of here. We out. Right. We out. Okay, ma. Avanza, cabrone. Okay. Let's go. Bus. Okay. Fucking parade. Andreas. Watch your mouth, son. 
Make Fuck yourself you. useful and clean that shit up. Okay, okay, but you know what? I'm gonna need some wrong gloves. I'm gonna be honest, okay? Because I got, I got. Let's keep a low profile. Riding a car, man. Dude, can one of your people bring the bikes around? All right, now try not to do too much damage with this here, right? Lead the way, Johnny. What was all this shit with you dissing me in front of Elizabeth, man? I thought you could handle it. I can't handle motherfucker. She's just one cold female, and I don't want her thinking I'm a bitch. Then I guess you got to prove yourself. No pressure, man. Go fuck yourself, Johnny. This is one serious gun, amigo. This what they call a street sweeper? That's about accurate for this shit. It'll carve through any motherfuckers dumb enough to stand down wind of us. No doubt. I'm guessing Liz wants this convoy hit like a fucking freight train if this is the firepower she's dishing out. Should be interesting. I'm gonna take care of this. We're gonna get through this. Yeah, it's okay. What's free. the problem? You're holding traffic up. What's the hey, problem? Hey, we're kind of in a rush here, okay? Honey, Listen to me, man. You gotta get out of the way. You're holding up traffic. What's the problem here? Okay. Hey, would you just let us through? Look, you don't gotta exact change. You're not going through. Those are the rules. I don't make them, but I stick to them. So just turn around and head back to the station. I'll come back with all the exact change that you need. All right? Just let us through, please. You wanna pay my bills and put food on the table? Turn around now. Look, I got some change right here. Oh, come on, let's get this shit moving. All right, this one's on us. Now move your ass. Thanks, guys. You're doing great, honey. It's okay. Just... All right, now. Let's do this. Good thing that little family didn't come through here five minutes later. Okay, boys. Convoy nearly here. We just need the shipment, okay? Ouch. Anyway, what I'm asking is, 
What's the deal with this music you put out and the branded clothing and shit? It's just part of our vibe, man. Roll with it. The vibe? Yeah, man. The vibe. It's how we do. You know, we're a complete subculture. Like you guys used to be back in about, what, 63 or something? Completely fucking lost, if you ask me. We've still got heart, man. The lost MC are still here. We just don't get on me TV and scream about it. Yeah, sure you are. Whatever you say, Johnny boy. Woo! Well now, that's a fine little nest egg to get us through a low point in these here global markets, baby. Sure, Malp. I'm just hoping you, me, and Liz can stay out of jail long enough to enjoy it later on. I did, and it handled like a piece of shit. I dumped it in the lockup you mentioned, if you're interested. Not in the van, baby. But maybe I'm interested in what's in the back of it. I'll send Andrea to check it out. See you soon. Now, it's not a momento, chica. <laughs> now, all you gotta do is walk through customs and you're home free. It's not bien. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you soon. And don't worry about my friend Johnny, huh? He's, uh, he's ugly, but he don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Andreas! Hey. Andreas! Hey. Why do I pay you to protect me when you what? don't do I, nothing? I was in, in the kitchen, I was doing the thing. I don't want no fucking excuses. Get but, the fuck back in the kitchen. But, okay, Tommy. Okay, Tommy. Jesus! <laughs> hey, Johnny boy. What's up? You had a good time the other day with those boys, huh? Men and their motorcycles. Sure. <laughs> Why we need to hit that convoy so hard? You know, all these bodies can't be good for your business. Ah, uh, you don't think I could survive out here if I wasn't dropping some people. I'm the big boss! Okay. People gonna love you, but they're gonna hate you even more, right? Now you're starting to sound like Billy. They're gonna hate you because you're a woman in this macho fucking world? They're gonna hate you because you're from the island? Super people think Latinos ain't worth shit in this town. When you the big boss, and you me, these bodies gotta come with it. Okay. I came up from a rough background. Men tried to turn me out when I was 14 years old. I fed him his balls! I'm just saying you should limit your casualties. <laughs> when I ended that fucker, I got a reputation in PR. No man touched me after that. Now, I, I ain't saying all men are bad. Would have married three of them if I thought that, right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do this, Liz. Okay, okay, go get my girl, Martha. She just came in on the adios flight from PR. You think this place look okay? It's so hard to get it nice again once the assholes have their party. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? Yeah, she'll love it. Okay. Where? Andreas? Si. You fucking missed a spot. I miss a spot, no. Come off these pillows and get that spot off my couch. Déjame 
suéltame. What? Yo no tengo perico, tú no entiendes. Yo solamente ah. vine aquí para ver la estatua de happiness. Habla inglés, ¿eh? Habla inglés. Suck American penis when you get into holding. Liberty Swingers, good team, eh? Hey? Wow. Drug mule skanks ain't usually this cute. This is gonna be fun. Hey, yo, come on, No. I don't know about you, but the America I believe in doesn't deport hard-working young girls like this one. Yeah, well, the only thing this girl works hard at is swallowing bags of coke and in a minute, blowing me. So, uh, sir, oh, yeah, excuse cool. Hey, hold, hold on. Your name Marta? Si, sí, si. Sí. Come on with me. Come on, keep your head down. Cómo manejar. Vámonos, Johnny. Hey, this is all right. Me take you back, Liz House, comprende? You, Marta, you first time in Liberty City? Liberty City, swingers, baseball, I step to it, the felicidad, la mujeres feas, los políticos lascivos, la delincuencia armada, la ciudad más ensimismada del mundo. Si, sí, Liberty City. Liberty City, very good. You learn good. I mean, you're learning very well. Usted no es exactamente lo que esperaba, señor Johnny. ¿Y ahora vamos al hotel de cinco estrellas? Mi no habla mucho Spanish, lady. Necesita una ducha después de esta bienvenida tan perra. Uf. Estoy mareada. ¿Tiene idea de cuántos condones llenos de perico hay en mi intestino delgado? Espero que nada se haya roto. No speaky e Spanish, Marta. I'm sorry. Okay, 
Here we are. Aquí. Bueno, gracias, Johnny. Nos vemos pronto. comes the big man. Gentlemen. What's hey. happening, Johnny? Hey, 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 what's the plan? We spoke to that fat fuck, Brian. He wants to sit down and call a truce. <laughs> Brian wants a truce? Yeah. Fuck that. Let's go get him. That's what I thought you'd All say. Right, let's do it. And Tweedle fucking dumb. Fuck you. Billy was always good to you, and you ratted him out. Billy's a one-way SOB, and he don't give a shit about the bros. No, uh-uh. Yeah, you think Billy would stick his neck out for you? You're dumber than I thought. You did, you did, you did, you did. I knew you'd say that. Just knew you'd say that. You're so predictable, wow. Johnny Little Dickowitz. What a baby. And your babysitter Billy's on the inside now, so it's bedtime for you, motherfucker. That's your call, you get the boy. fuck out of town. That's your call, you boy. You're the one taking a nap. Put these assholes in the ground, brothers! Dead 
fucking eat your world like this, do you? Come on, man! We can't let these pricks get away! Time to get the fuck out of this toilet! Looks like we're about all that's left of the Alderney chapter, man. We don't need numbers, man. We need brothers. And that's what we got left. You, me, Angus, Terry, Clay, brothers. You're right about that. Shit. I wish we pinned down Brian, that little weasel. He'll turn up soon enough. Yeah, maybe. See you soon, brother. Hey there. Please leave a message.